Hi, David here. I'd like to talk to you about backdrops. I built this backdrop for my layout to give me some depth and some distance to my layout so it didn't look like the layout just ends. I got the idea for the layout from a William A. watching his videos and I'll put a link down below to the video. The process for building the backdrop did take some time so I did have to break this video up into two pieces. Part one will show you how I built the structure which is basically foam board and hold it to my layout with some clamps. Part two, we will do the painting and scenery to make the background areas and give us the depth we need for our layout. So with that being said, why don't you watch this video and see the process I went through to make this backdrop. Okay, so for my backdrop, I wanted to use some one inch foam board, but I wasn't able to find that. So I took two pieces of 5 8 foam board and glued them together with some Gorilla Heavy Duty construction adhesive. Now I got a piece of quarter inch foam board of foam that I want to glue down. And then we're going to sandwich it with a piece of quarter inch PVC trim on one side and another piece of quarter inch PVC on the other side. And to hold these together, I got some quarter inch by two screws and these self-locking threads for the other side. So I guess for starters, we'll put down some construction adhesive. Spread it out with a putty knife. And this is the same thing I did with the foam board to glue it together. Now we're going to glue this. Make sure I'm gluing it on the right way because I cut this board different sizes. So we're going to glue this so that it's one inch up. And that'll take care of that. Now this, I want this to sit flat. I'm going to be holding it onto my layout with clamps so it's easy to remove. And I need to bury these heads in so that they're flat. So we'll just drill where I've marked into the PVC. To be deep enough. To bury the heads. I have to get the vacuum cleaner later, later and clean this up. But now this is going to sit right on top of that quarter inch and the other piece will go directly behind give it a squeeze Okay, so everybody looks like it's almost lined up. I 
Okay. Now we're going to change our drill bit. And go for a quarter inch. Because that's what my screws are. And drilled straight down through everybody. Okay, now we're going to change out the drill bit again and go for a size just over 5 sixteenths. With that, I'll take this piece from the back and drill out our holes. Now what I got to do is I got to take this little piece, put it into the back and hammer it in place and that gives me threads. So let me go hammer that in and I'll be back to put this back together. Back, I've set my pieces into my other piece of PVC. It's ready to be screwed together. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be clamping these, like I said, to the layout. And if you clamp to the foam board, you're going to keep pressing in on the foam board. So this gives a good surface to grab to, so it won't hurt the foam board. And this also allows me to put a piece of 5 8 material up on top of here to follow my landscaping to give me a little more depth to my railroad. Give me something to do some scenery on. So, let's screw these together. They're nice and flat, so when I put it up against my layout, it'll be flat. And on this side, you can see I don't have them protruding very little. So this makes for my backdrop. Gives me something to clamp to, something to put against the layout and do my scenery. So the next thing to do for my backdrop is to cut a piece of 5 8 foam board and glue it to the backdrop, but I need to get the profile of my layout. So what I do is I tape up some plain paper to the edge of the layout, and then I just press my thumb right along the edge. And it gives me the edge of the layout and then I can cut it out and I can transform transfer it to the foam board now that I got my template made all I gotta do is transfer it to my foam board
and then cut it out. Okay, now I don't need a lot of this. I'm only a few inches above what I've done. So I'm just gonna make a nice cut. And there's our piece to go onto our backdrop to space out for the space between the backdrop and the layout. Now the next thing to do is to put this on the layout, make sure everything fits the way I want it to, and then glue it to the backdrop. So the only way I could come up with to get my spacer piece right with the profile of my layout was to put some blue painters tape on and then stick my piece on and then I'll put some construction adhesive on the back side of it and put my backdrop up in place and glue the two together. All right, there it is. My board cut out to the profile, got the construction adhesive on it and as you can see I've also got two tabs attached to the layout for the backstop to rest on. So next time we'll see this, it'll be stuck on. Well, got the backdrop on. That looks nice. The little spacer board fills out, gives me a little room to do some landscaping and blend it in. But as you can see, there is a gap between my two boards. I guess I didn't added things up properly, didn't think about it, but I have a gap. So now I think I have a solution. I went and cut another piece of foam board. I'm gonna put it in the corner. I cut an angle on two sides. I'll glue it to one edge and put it in the corner. And hopefully that'll fill that gap and it actually may turn out okay. We'll see. Okay, folks, so there's my solution. I cut that styrofoam. I got it glued to the end board here, the one that's not painted. And it looks like it's going to fill in the corner and be all right. Of course, the rest of the backdrop that I've already done looks like so. And we'll just continue that right around on the pink foam board to make the rest of the backdrop. And yes, I know my piece is a little high. I need to cut it down, but better long than short. Okay, that's the end of part one. You saw I had a little bit of trouble back there in that corner, but we managed to fix it and make it look decent. Part two, we'll do the landscaping and blend it into the scenery on the landscape. So we'll get our distance and our depth that we were looking for. So please watch for part two coming out soon. And thank you for watching this video and keep on modeling.